In this video, I'm going to show you how to add rational numbers, focusing on fractions, and mixed numbers. So let's have the first example. Let's say you have negative 2 thirds plus 3 fourths. Since the denominators are different, first we have to make their denominators the same. And we can do that by finding the LCD, or the least common denominator. And the least common denominator is simply the least common multiple of the two denominators. And we can find the least common multiple of the two denominators, which will become the LCD, by first listing all the multiples of 4 and listing all the multiples of 3 until we find the smallest common among the, among the multiples. So for the multiples of 4, we have 4, 8, 12, 16, and so on. For multiples of 3, we have 3, 6, 9, 12. And I will stop here because I can already see a common multiple, and that is 12. And because there are no other common multiples so far from this list, that means 12 is the least common multiple, and that becomes the least common denominator. So from here, we are going to change the denominators into 12, and we can do that by multiplying 3 by a certain number until we get a 12. Well, if we multiply 3 by 4, so you notice you have to come by 3 4 times to get to 12, so we have to multiply 3 by 4. So we multiply 3 by 4 in order to make it into a 12. But since this is a fraction, whatever you do to the denominator, you need to do the exact same thing to the numerator, which means we are also going to multiply 2 by 4. And as a result, we will have negative... 8, because 2 times 4 is 8, over 12. On the other side, we have 4 in the denominator. You notice when we were making a list, 12 is the third in the list, so that means you have to multiply 4 by 3 to make 4 into a 12, because you have to count by 4 3 times to get to 12. And you have to do the exact same thing to the numerator. So now, instead of 3 fourths, you can have 9 over 12. Now this would be easier to add since the denominators are the same. So from here, since the signs are different, we can think of the rules or of the procedures and how we add integers with different signs. Since the signs are different, we are going to subtract their absolute values. Now, when you're subtracting the absolute values, you're going to start with the absolute value of 9 over 12, take away the absolute value of negative 8 over 12, because the absolute value of 9 over 12 is higher. So this is the same as 9 over 12 minus the absolute value of negative 8 over 12 is just 8 over 12. And then we will subtract these two fractions. We copy the common denominator, which is 12, and then 9 minus 8 is equal to 1. Now, since the signs are different, we have to copy the sign of the number with a higher absolute value. And in this case, 9 over 12 has a higher absolute value, so we will copy the sign of 9 over 12. So the result is just positive 1 over 12. Now let's have another example. This time we have mixed numbers. Now let's say this one is negative and this one is also negative. Now what we can do here, one of the ways to work this problem out is to change the mixed numbers into an improper fraction. And we can do that by multiplying the whole number by the denominator and adding the numerator, ignoring the sign for now. So we can multiply 2 and 5, and 2 times 5 is equal to 10, and then whatever the result of that, we add the numerator, which is 3. So 10 plus 3 is equal to 13. So this can become negative 13 over 5. And then the other one, we have 5 and 1 fourth. We can multiply 5 and 4 
which will give us 20. And then we can add 20 to the numerator. So we have 20 plus 1 is equal to 21. So instead of negative 5 over 4, we can use negative 21 over 4. Now from here, we have to look at the denominators. Since the denominators are different, we can make the denominators the same by finding the LCD. And again, the LCD is simply the least common multiple of the two denominators. So the denominators are 5 and 4. We can list their multiples by counting by 5s and counting by 4s. So 5, 10, 15, 20, and so on. And multiples of 4 are 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, and so on. As you can see, 20 is the least common multiple. So we are going to change the denominator to 20. So for 5, we have to multiply 5 by 4. Notice you have to count by 5 4 times to get to 20. So we multiply this by 4 to make it into a 20. But we have to do the exact same thing to the numerator. And over here, we have to multiply 4 by 5 because you notice you have to count by 4 5 times in order to get to 20. But we have to also do the same thing to the numerator. So this is also times 5. Now, what happens here is that we'll end up with two fractions, two improper fractions that have the same denominator. So 13 times 4, that would be 12, carry 1, 4, 5, that's 52. 4, 8, 12, 4, 5, okay. And then over 20. Plus negative 5, it's 105 over 20, right? Now, we are adding two negatives. Just like integers, if the signs are the same, we simply add the absolute values of the numbers. So the absolute value of 52 over 20 plus the absolute value of 105 over 20. So that would be the same as 52 over 20 plus 105 over 20. And in order to add these two, we add the numerators. So we're going to have 157 over the common denominator, which is 20. But we have to copy the common sign. So we're going to have negative 157 over 20. And then from here, we can either change this into a mixed number or simplify it by finding the common factors of the numerator and denominator and dividing both of these numbers by that common factor. Thank you very much, and I hope this helped.